you know what I heard? Yes. There are those who have operated that route before. Yes. Who have said, look, it's just a matter of time. These people will frustrate that airline out of that route. And the question I ask that, will Nigeria, not even Nigerian government, will Nigeria allow that to happen? And we already hear what is going on on the ground. For example, there will even be personnel that will give them um, uh, a wing of the airport that is non-functional. They will have to literally carry with bare hands luggage and baggages of passengers from the aircraft to the conveyor belt. These are some of the discrepancy that is going on. And when we imagine it in the aviation sector, there is this also this issue of reciprocity. But if the UK and those operators are treating the Nigerian business in this manner, what are you doing? Listen, we are not going to leave it alone to the local operator to say, engage these people. Once these things are happening, at a point, remember I engaged the, the Gatwick Airport Authority and I told them, you know, I, I, I communicated with them. I said, we will be working closely with you to ensure that Air Peace has seamless operations at your airport. Not anybody saying that me, as aviation minister, I communicated with them. And they responded and said, we'll be ready to work with you. That is government support. And they will know that the Nigerian government is fully behind this flag carrier of Nigeria going back and forth. And under, the, under the, the, the principle of reciprocity, we are still very, very flexible. But we are going to continue to watch the situation and say, look, move us to Heathrow. We started Gatwick as a low-hanging fruit. Actually, they should be flying Heathrow. Because it will not be fair, for instance, if they keep doing that, you know, whilst they are flying to our A-class airport, which is, you know, Abuja airport and the Lagos not airport. Not only that, Minister. Assuming, assuming, not only that, assuming, Minister. assuming tomorrow yeah. I divert British Airways, to Uwiri. And that, without, without downplaying yeah. Uwiri Airport or Enugu, it's not our nation's capital, for example. It's not our star airport. I, I mean, our international airport where all flights come into. The flexi I, divert, I divert you to... Minister, to, the, to flexibility, or, or Yola. the flexibility the foreign airlines enjoy against the competition of local airlines as such that they will fly into our major air, uh, airport, they will round trip around our local airport and fly those to Those are our unfair BASA agreements I met. To, to, and I, those I, are the and issues. I, and, I, and I'm reviewing them now. Yeah. Those are the BASAs I met on the ground where that allows them to hop. They call it hopping. Hopping, yeah. They will hop and come and then deny our local airlines of that patronage. In fact, they can code share with them. They can share with them to say, look, you can't allow Qatar Airways to come to Nigeria, for example, and pick passengers in Port Harcourt, come to Lagos, pick and fly out. Mm. You should fly into one and go out. They, they actually and then, land and in Abuja. And then a lot of the time they go to Cairo and Airpiece, carry passengers. Airpiece or, or, or uh, Ibom or uh, United or any of the airline should pick the passengers from Port Harcourt and bring them to Lagos for you. Share with them, code share, I mean with them. And all, but they are not doing it. And, but these are, like I said, agreements I met on the ground, unfair business agreements and bassas I met on the ground. That, the that, that, that I am reviewing right now. I'm yeah. reviewing the bassas right now. Mm. I'm reviewing them.